All right, it has been 15 years since we've had them on the Today Show, so give it up for one of the best bands ever, ever. Hootie and the Blowfish. <laughs> the Grammy winners have sold more than 25 million wow. albums, and after taking some time off to pursue their solo careers, the boys are back. Darius, Mark, Dean, and Jim are coming out with new music. Just announced they are headed back out on tour. The and band it's a big one. is back again. It's going to be a big one. <laughs> wow. Welcome back, guys, after all this time. Thanks. So, how, I mean, you guys have obviously are not a band. Band that fell apart and decided to come back together. You guys just went your, uh, you know, your separate ways. But how was it getting back together? Did it feel like riding a bike? Was it simple again? Was it organic? Yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, we've been a band 33 years now, and so getting back together was. We, we don't really, I don't think we felt like we were ever apart. We yeah. just weren't out playing a lot of shows. When I read up to have to remind you that you guys were freshmen in college, right? You were like my yeah. mates. You were. You still got that big <laughs> <laughs> too. <laughs> and the dimples. He but hasn't changed. It, he, but it wasn't an easy road. I mean, I think sometimes when people see a band like yours, they're like, oh, well, Hootie and the Blowfish, they, they just, uh, maybe they had it easy. But you guys got rejection after rejection. How would you categorize that part of the band's life? That was just like the challenge for us. I yeah. mean, because, you know, we'd go, we'd get these rejection letters, but then we'd go play a show where there's 500 or 1,000 people. Going crazy. Yeah, so we were like, you know, if we stick with this, you know, and, and also we, we found a way to make a career out of it ourselves, regardless of whether we ever got signed. We were like, we, we're going to figure out a way to make this our career one way or the other. So you sold CDs out of what, your, yeah. the car? Yeah, yeah. Out, of the, out of the back of our van, and, and we had a couple mom and pop record stores that would sell them for us, but uh, it was... Started with the people, it was, didn't it? It was eight years mm -hmm. of playing clubs before we got a record deal. But that's also where you hone your, your yeah, craft. Right? That's where you get oh. excellent. We, yeah. need, we needed the practice, believe me. <laughs> we had a few years of riding around uh, to small crowds, and that was okay. That's how we learned to love the music and yeah. not... We weren't in it for the fame or fortune, really. So, so was yeah. there ever any trepidation? Because you guys obviously were so big, and everyone remembers you with a certain time of their life. Were you a little bit like, should we come back, or should we just leave well enough alone? No, it was the 25th yeah. anniversary of Correct Review, and, mm -hmm. and we, we, knew, we knew we were going to do a, you know, a tour again sometime. And yeah. It just seemed like the right time to go out this year and do it and, and you know, have fun. And just, we're doing it for the fans. Because, I mean, there were people that came to see us all the time, and all of a sudden we just stopped playing. Yeah. You know, and so, uh, you know, we're doing it for those people so they can come out and see us again. So, so we'll, tell us some of the arenas. Yeah, you're going to be hear. You're gonna be at Radio City? Is, no, we're playing no, Madison Square Garden. Garden. We're playing right. the Garden. Yeah. We're playing, uh, we're playing uh, some really cool venues. Hollywood Bowl, I think. Hollywood Bowl. That's playing. The yeah. acoustics are awesome. It's yes. going to be great. Yeah. yeah, we're excited about those. Ways. So how do you feel going out there knowing now your fans? I mean, they've been waiting for a long time for this moment. Are you getting, I know you've whispered to a it's few exciting. people. It, it, it feels kind of new again, like yeah. from that standpoint, not having done it in a while. Like it, it, I have, uh, I'm really excited. <laughs> so what kind of new music? Like, is it going to sound like your old stuff or will it be? Oh, well, it's funny because, yeah. you know, we're writing songs. We realize no matter what we try to do, we, we sound you like sound that. Like, <laughs> you sound like the Blowfish. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. a good thing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been exciting writing the new album. That's, and we're in the middle of it right now. We're not finished. But it's exciting to think who, who are we supposed to sound like in the year 2018 or 19. It's, it's been a long time. Are we relevant? Uh, there's a lot. See, Seems to be people are staying young, yeah. but we're the older crowd, so I don't know where we'll land with that. I think it's going to be truly successful because be you're going to go about it the way you've always done it. You're going to do it. You're going to do what you love to yeah. do for people you care about. Yeah. Yeah. How can it not be really Absolutely. successful? We are so happy, you guys. Thanks for sharing yeah. the news with us. Thank we're you. pretty happy too.